this is Catherine Savior at Physic in Action. Today is day two of your resistant band workout. Now today we're doing upper body. Yesterday we did the lower. If you're just getting in on this, you want to make sure that you go check out the other videos so that you know how to do your workout. We have calendars and worksheets available for you. What I'm going to explain right now is how you're going to be able to use your resistant band if you don't have a door attachment. So you're going to need one. A lot of the exercises are used in the door. Um, there's other ways of doing them, but this one was just the easiest way we can go around. So you're going to take your lanyard, a lanyard, you know, like with your key attachments on it. It's probably the material that's probably the strongest that you can get and will actually fit in your door. So what you're going to do is you're going to just put it around your elastic. You're going to make a net, a knot in the end of it, not in your tongue, in the lanyard. And once you have your knot, you want to make sure it's nice and tight not tight, it won't fit through the door to get in there. So you make sure it's nice and tight and that you have distance here in your string. Once you have this, you're going to fit the knot through the door. I explained this in the other video. All you have to do is go check the other video and you've got a quick learn. So let's get this party started. We have eight moves, 20 reps each. elastic because I know how strong I'm actually capable of doing this and I don't want to be at the other room, end of the room to fill this. So we're going to take a hard elastic, you're going to put it in your door attachment. In the door, roughly chest height, okay, so just below the shoulder, chest height. <coughs> put it in there, make sure your door is latched, pull on it. You're going to take your elastic, you're going to go to arm's length. I prefer to have one leg forward, one leg back. It doesn't matter which leg it is, whichever one you're comfortable, so that you're not bouncing around. It's not an exercise, it's fun, but it's not an exercise. What we're targeting is the lats. We're working in this part of our back, okay? What we're going to do, full length, lean back, Grasp, breathe, bring your hands beside your ribs in the natural position. You're just bringing it along. The only thing I want you to be careful when you're working with bands, the more you pull, the more it wants you to come back. And if you let it make you come back, you're pulling on all of your joints, which is really not good. So you want to make sure that you can pull as quick as you want, as long as you come back nice and easy into your motion. We're going to do 20 of these. If it's not hard enough, just keep backing up until you have the right resistance. So here we go. One. Nice and easy. Two. Remember to breathe. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. If it's not hard enough, back her up. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, getting there, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Exercise two. We're going to do a chest press. So we're going to turn around, we're going to go inside the elastic, inside, in your armpits. Hands tight, put your foot against the door, if you reach, if you've got enough room, lean forward, stay in that position. This position is not the exercise. The exercise is like doing a push-up, you're pushing away from me. Now the reason I have it in my armpits, it's pushing in a straight direction. I usually tell the women we're cutting the bra fat off, okay, that's what we're trying to get or achieve. So here we're going to do 20 reps, body stays straight, we're pushing straight forward for 20. One, two, three, four, if it's too easy, creep up, five, Ooh. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, get in there, 18, 19, and 20. For the third exercise, we're going to do a bicep curl. There's many ways of doing it, but this is probably the easiest way of doing so. Depending on the strength of your elastic, this is the easy part. You're going to put one foot fully on top of the elastic. Push your weight onto that foot. If you don't, the elastic may slip, and this will come flying in your face. It's been done. I've seen it. We don't want that to happen. So you want your full weight onto it. Have your arms on each side, shoulders back, down, elbows in, stay there. Hands are coming up as high as they can go without moving the elbow. So we're doing 20 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. It's not hard enough. Double up your feet, making your, short, your elastic shorter, therefore harder to do. Let's keep on going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. For our next exercise, we're going to do a shoulder press. The easiest way of doing this, if you have the proper elastic, is by putting your foot in the center of the elastic, stepping forward. I find that you have here a little bit more stability where the elastic's behind you. If you have your foot behind, it tends to pull you forward, and then your angle's not good and you're forcing in different postures. So, lean forward, the one that's not supporting, make sure your weight's on it, and you're going to be pushing up towards the sky. One, two, Four, five, six, seven, breathe, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. If it's too hard, if it happens to be too hard, I'm going to drop one of the elastics, put your weight on it, keep on going halfway. One, two, three, four. But on the other side, about the same distance, so be careful on this. One, two, three, four, and five. For this next exercise, we're going to work on the female jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. We don't want that. We want it to be like, Arr! so what you're going to do is you're going to take your door attachment, and you're going to put it in the upper part of your door. Um, if you can do it at the hinge area, that's a big part where you can actually be. What we're going to do is we're going to stuff it in. If your elastics is really easy, if you find it really easy, you'll be able to put it on the top of your door. Make sure that your two elastics are at the same height. Shoulders are back as in the bicep curl. You want to make sure that they're down and not up towards your ears. You want to have a tight bum, but you want to have a relaxed knee. We don't want to be like this. It might be prettier, it's not very good for your back. So, in, knees mushy, okay? Position, elbows will stay there throughout the 20. If you need a break, take a break. If you need to stop and take a little rest and do the rest, go ahead, do what you need to do. So here we go, we're trying to reach the hip. One, two, three, four, three, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, hold it, seventeen, eighteen, almost there, nineteen, and twenty. That will burn. And if you can't make it and you're like, take a small break, breathe a bit, and then try to finish it up. For this next exercise, we're doing another row. However, it's a wide row, so we're going to end up using the upper portion of our back, rhomboids included, scapulas and all that. So what you're going to do, again, you're going to use it roughly at chest height. So you stick your arm out, line it up, push it through. 
Same as before, pull it through. Make sure your handles are even. Back up to your arms are straight. This one is much harder. It's not a big muscle group working. It's a whole bunch of small ones. So here, as opposed to pulling in, you're pulling up. So make sure that you don't go too far back until you've got a few done. If you feel comfortable, you can take a step back. Make sure you're capable of doing this because these ones will burn relatively close, you know, around the 12 line. So let's try it. So you want to make sure you have a good tension. Remember, it's an elastic. You can pull as quick as you want in. You're going to hold it back for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, almost there, nineteen, and twenty. Some people do feel tension in their trap. If you do feel so, just relax them. And when you're done, stretch your neck. We'll put a link for the next stretch from the bottom in the commentary. This next exercise, we're gonna do a chest squat. Now before we did a row, which was inside and pressing straight forward. The fly is on the outside. I find it works best foot back, leaning forward, and opening the arms. Once you open the arms, you're ha you have a circle going on, and you're going to keep that circle until the hands meet up. So what you're going to do is you're going to reach around you, okay, and then the more you get angle in here, so the more you fall back, the more you're back behind you, the harder you're working. It depends on your flexibility. So keep on going. Three. Open the chest, close. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep your neck straight. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. The last exercise, we're going to do a side crunch. And yesterday's workout, we did a full front crunch. Same principle, except you're going knee to knee. So I suggest you grab it this way. If it's not the top, it could be a different height of your door frame. It doesn't really matter. Wherever you did your other program yesterday, that's where you're going to have it. You're going to come down to your knees, just like we had the first time. Bring your hands near your head and you're going to do 20 counts on each side. When you're curling down, remember what I said yesterday. You want to make sure that you're curving your back. That's what the abs are working. We don't want the hip flexor to do all the work. It's already strong enough. So to be able to go get the inside of the outside of our knees on each side, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to go over, touch, back up. Over, touch, back up. So what's happening is you're working a little bit more on your obliques. So this is what we're going to do. Ready? Here we go. One. And one. Two. Breathe out the way down. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Halfway. Eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, and 20.
running. There you have it. Eight simple exercises done with resistance bands only. If you don't have a door attachment, you might want to get one. You can cheaper to get one for $3 or improvise. These are the easiest exercises that you're going to find with elastic. They work fantastic and you're getting a good workout. Now remember, you need to subscribe if you want all the information. Give it a thumbs up, share it, comment, let me know what you're thinking, what your thoughts are. Maybe it'll help us to make new videos. I need you to remember to drink some water, drink a lot of water, two liters if possible. Eat all your veggies, make sure you have enough protein so that your energy is up. Get some rest. Tomorrow is a break day or a cardio day. You can pick and choose to do either or. And next time, we're repeating the sequence. So we're going back to lower body and then upper body. Just keep track on Facebook. I'm there every day telling you what you need to be doing. So until next time.